is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn Shenanigans. My name is Todd, my wife, D, and we back with another great reaction video. But before we dive in, if you new, subscribe to this loyal, crazy family. It's crazy, we got crazy over here, but they loyal. You know what I'm saying? We got some loyal crazies, but we crazy too. Mm. You I, 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 too much. I admit to what I am. I ain't scared. This is a little off. This this suggestion is a little off because it's what? like off like what we normally react to. I, we getting serious. Okay, with this. what is it? It's uh, why you won't survive Navy SEALs training. Oh, it's different. You know what I'm saying? We going in a different direction. I don't know. I always wonder how they train. They do got a hard job. Navy SEALs. Yeah, they... I just don't agree. This is just me personally. I don't. I get why, but I don't. Yeah, but this why? ain't like they the seals or they ain't the like, regular boys. Why y'all be screaming in they be my all, face? No, Navy seals is on. No, I'm just saying like they be like screaming in your face. That's boot camp. Ah, I... we're talking about the seals. But don't they gotta go through boot camp too? Yeah, but they go okay, through a whole then. different boot camp. Theirs ain't just yelling. They... Wait, is Navy seal the one with the uh, the movie with Cuba Gooding Jr.? Is he was he Cuba, was he a Navy seal when he went underwater with all that armor? Mm, he, no, he wasn't a seal. He was part of the Navy though. Oh, but that's what I'm saying. Like he the was SEAL the team is the people who go on like secret missions and stuff. Oh. It'd be like six of them. <laughs> I feel so stupid. It'd be like four or five of them. Okay, like the movie, like, what's the name? Not Sniper, the other one. The other army. There's like four of them they went and got a song and stuff. That's like a team. That's like five. Mm. They go on a serious mission. They ain't on no like regular. So that's Navy SEAL. No, it could be Army too. They all got their own teams. I'm just I saying. I know, but you're saying like they go on secret missions and they the hardest trained okay, because they the do Navy crazy seal shit. Are the, if you're a seal, underwater motherfuckers, yes. If you're a seal, you do that that like crazy. crazy I don't know. Shit. I ain't a goddamn seal. How you know all this? Because I got a friend that's in the shit. Oh my gosh, I gotta Google this now because Man, that's why you gonna watch your damn video. Oh, okay, that too. <laughs> Seal. I spent time at SEAL Team 3, the NSA, SEAL Team 6. I was no incredible athlete, nor was I some genius. I was your average kid growing up in Texas who just had a lot of passion to go down this path. I was a troublemaker at heart. I still am. And okay, I enjoyed so getting in trouble. And uh, But more importantly, I enjoyed not getting caught. <laughs> that somehow extended into an adult profession of roaming the planet, causing and trouble, caught. and How not getting like caught. He used that and ran with it. First, you have to take a leap of faith and join the Navy. You have to be willing to be a sailor first before you can be a SEAL. For me, I wanted nothing to do with being a sailor. I wanted nothing to do with those big gray ships. I knew since I was 10 years old, I just wanted so to be a SEAL. Wanted. And so I went in, I was still in college. I joined the Navy, I signed the dotted line, didn't tell my parents. Nobody knew I was going until about two weeks before the plane took off to go Dang. to Chicago. <laughs> Up at Great Lakes is where you go through boot camp. Boot camp is roughly eight weeks. In about week three or four, and they'll say, hey, who wants to be a SEAL? Who wants to be EOD? That starts the process. Oh, they tell okay. you, hey, you so need you to show choice. up on this morning at this time over at the swimming pool. And the first thing you have to do That's is a swim. Cool. Then you have to do. I'm talking about. I thought like they pick them. Like if obviously if you're top in your boot camp, no. they'll be okay, you get a you better chance of be a, a job when you score high. You huh? just get a better. No, but chance I'm saying like job. I didn't know they had a choice. Well, I know you have a choice, but I'm saying like I thought it's like. Yeah, but they ain't gonna mean. Yeah, the people at the top they make... get asked like, "Oh, you want to be a seal because you're at that level." Like no, they get they get better job choices. Yeah, when you score higher on your stuff, but. To be a, a seal, seal thing, they yeah. still got to train for it. I don't mean you're going to be a seal. Yeah. Pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, and then you have to do a run. All of which has to be done in a certain amount of time on the swim and the run. And then your push-ups, pull-ups, and sit-ups have to meet a minimum standard. Then from there, you just finish out boot camp. You get orders. And your orders will be either, you know, to an A school, which gives you a MOS or a job that you're going to do in the Navy, or you're going to go to BUDS. I had to go to an A school, and I picked the medical route. So I went to Corman School, and so that was an additional three months after boot camp where you learn basic EMT skills and nothing more. Then I went to Bud's, which is in San Diego. First thing they had me do while I was in my dress blues was go hit the surf zone, get wet and sandy, and that is the big welcome to Bud's. And you know exactly where you're at when that happens because the Pacific Ocean is always around 55 degrees. It's cold. Getting sandy is a uh, part of your life from there on out. Every guy has their own anxieties about different challenges they know they're going to face in buds. For me, it was a particular section of pull comp, and pull comp is inside of the second phase of training, which is focused all on everything from dive physics to dive medicine, and then of course being comfortable in the water. Pull comp is truly testing how comfortable you are underwater while you're 
breathing on scuba and making sure that you can remain calm in stressful situations. You've got your fins, you've got your mask, you've got all the common equipment and you're just going back and forth along the bottom of a very deep swimming pool known as the combat training tank. And while you're going back and forth, the SEAL instructors are above doing shark attacks. And of course, they wait until they see all the bubbles come out, and then they come down, taking your air away, ripping your mask off, maybe thump you in the head, take your weight belt off to mess up your buoyancy, and then start pulling other straps and stuff apart. Once they get done, then it's on you to put yourself all back together again in a proper order. If you don't do what? it in the right order, the well, then you're out. Man, look, I'm already... <laughs> I'm already, I'm, I'm already gonna take my hat off to them because as <laughs> soon as you disrupt me underwater, that is my biggest thing. Like I can swim, I cannot. My biggest thing underwater is that. Like don't mess with me underwater. Like, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. So deal. you were them kids that got scared when they pull on your feet. Yes. <laughs> he getting choked out. I'm about to oh sit down there. I'm about to. You coming with me? <laughs> What they so, have to do, all that. so they literally have to go down there with everything and then get everything pulled apart, then redo it. Yes, underwater. They trying to make you see Jesus. How are you? Whole, are they're you trying to make, do like breathing techniques. They're trying to make geez. you see Jesus. Why am I in heaven already? Oh, I was in Navy SEALs training. Just, I was just training. He said, if you don't get it, you're out. What's the you time fail. Limit? You have to do all this. Look at all with this. Whatever air you have left in your lungs, and of course, if you go to the surface, that's considered quitting. So you're out. And this just goes on and on until you get to the point when they the surface, do what's called the whammy you knot. So you're going back and forth. They strip you down, give you a little bit of a beating, tie your hoses in this huge knot that you, so you know you can't get breath? out. And so you have to sit there and work I'm on it. Hold my breath. Who does that? Who goes down there to do that? The trainers. No, I'm saying like in real life, like if they're underwater, who's going to do all that? Because you got to think when it's dark. They not people like when you underwater, you're trying to fight to get back to the top. So they can grab all your stuff, take it apart, and then they swim to the top. Now you down there without oxygen. Oh your my enemies God, ain't thinking about pulling that? you up. This is crazy. You gotta think when you don't water, people go crazy. They pull stuff apart. Like you That's go. crazy. Until they come down and give you the okay. The goal is is make sure you remain calm. How you conserve calm? your air that you have in your lungs. Work the problem. The relief is when they come down, they get face to face with you, mask to mask, and they give you the okay and head to the surface and you know you've passed. It's probably the longest 20, 30 minutes of your life. So as you approach the end of BUDS, uh, okay. you come back from the island, okay. you just start prepping for graduation from BUDS. It does not make you a SEAL. For me, even, you graduated. I didn't even made it. And then I went off to my um, specialty. And so within the SEAL community, guys specialize in specific jobs. You can be a comms guy, you can be a sniper, you can be an ordnance guy. For me, I was a medic, and so I went to a special operations medical school. Somewhere in the middle of all that, you go to jump school. So jump school is one month army school learning how to be a paratrooper. Yeah, it's all static oh, okay. line jumping, meaning okay. I'm hooking up a line. You know what's crazy? I got a buddy that's in the Navy still to this day. That's exactly what his job is. Jumping? Parachute rigging. I ain't no way. Wait, where does my brother want to go? Navy. <gasps> my little brother, he just broke the news to me and said that he is going to the navy and i'm not gonna lie it broke my heart my buddy he been in now i was like scared but sad but i think he'd been in almost 15 years they just did an article on him he in just the graduated paper. high school and he said that's what he's going for and i said Fire inside an airplane, and I'm either going out a door or going off a ramp, and that line is just, pulling my parachute jump? out for me, so that when I uh, depart well, I the like aircraft, the parachute the pops up behind me. Yeah, because everybody just skydiving. Right? Usually a 15. That's just something everybody doing when they wake up. The landings can be hmm, sometimes interesting. And then when you're done with that, you check into a SEAL team. I checked into SEAL Team though. 3. And once you check in, you're on a probationary period where your peers are watching you and ensuring that you are the kind of guy they want to work with. You have to prove yourself. Part wow. of proving yourself is the Chief's Board and walkthroughs. The Chief's Board, they can ask you any question they want about being a SEAL, about the equipment you use, how fast does a 5.56 five, round travel, you know, what's the velocity? So well, it's 28 feet per second. They can ask you anything under the sun and you better answer it accurately or you have to do it all over again. And when you're at a SEAL team, you only get That's so many crazy. tries before they get rid of you. Even though they've invested all of that time, money, they don't care because they want to always maintain the best guys in their team. But now you go to Ordnance, so I wonder what happened if you could keep, and like, you all don't make the parts it, you go back to the of every weapon are sitting in buckets. 
mixed up. Not one part goes with another part, and you have to go through all these buckets and put all the weapons together, a half a dozen, maybe more weapons that at the end you'll have completed, all put together, and then they'll function test them and make sure you did it properly. Once you get done with that, now you go into your platoon, which is the group of guys you're gonna train and work with for the next year, two years, three years. Those guys, for me, when I went through, was the last step in the process of getting your trident. They decide when it's time for you to get it your peers, which personally I think is the way to go. So it was a long road to get there, but well worth it in the end. And once you get that trident, now you are a seal, but you're still earning your way as a new guy. And as a new guy, you're doing everything. And when you're not doing everything, then you're volunteering for everything else and earn the respect of your more seasoned veteran guys that are at that team. Over time, usually I, I probably didn't feel comfortable as an operator versus a, a new guy until about the somewhere between three and five years at the command. It takes a long time to not feel like a new guy, which is a good thing. It keeps every SEAL somewhat humble and always learning, always training, always trying to be better and never thinking that you are the best at something because there's always room for improvement. So are you tough enough, smart enough to be a Navy SEAL? Anyone can do anything, and I know that sounds so cliche, but the reality is, is if, you, if you're truly dedicated to it, both mind and spirit, and you've got the passion and the drive, then uh, you can be whatever you want to be, certainly a Navy SEAL. That's a very informative. This is a great video. Would that, if you see that, would that make you want to join? No. Oh. No, it wouldn't. I mean, I got buddies, like all my buddies went, and uh, yeah, but like me, no, I personally, I didn't, I didn't have, I almost went, but it was like, I think like you said, you got to want it, like you personally, not nobody else pushing you. Yeah. I think that's a field you got to want it, and only that person me, knows. And I think personally, I feel like you need to know everything before you go in. Like, I think you need to know, in a sense, um, like the, what is it called? Like, what is it called? The... Like when there's the branches, I think, you know, whatever branch you go into, I feel like you really need to be told everything they're going to do to you as far as like what it can do for you, like the ins and outs, the pros, the cons. Like, I think they need to be blunt. with. But some go in because they don't have nothing they come from. Yeah. You got to think a lot of people go in because they don't yeah. got, they don't come from nothing. So no, and I in. do get that. I have, I've seen people. But I think it's a personal choice. Like, regardless of who going, like you can, like he said, he signed before. Mm -hmm. Obviously he signed and told his parents two weeks before because yeah. he knew they were going to have something to say. Like. That's what he wanted. I'm like, not against it. It's just I think because it's my little brother, I feel like Obviously that's brother. why that's why he like yeah, I signed because he probably knew his parents was gonna steer yeah. him away from but that look at him now. That's what he made him happy. That's what so he wanted to do. So now he does that and like he's he, he's so calm saying it. I bet you they be having like people like them, I bet you they get married and stuff. I bet they be having like great marriages because they got patience. I, I know he got patience. I just know he patient as hell. Because they go through all that and nothing can mentally really break yeah. him. Like, they, like, know how to handle. They probably just be like... What's an argument? You tripping. He probably look at her, you tripping. Like, calm you down. really... He, you, he probably teaching her like, how to calm Go herself. breathe into water. He, yeah. He probably got water yeah. exercises. He probably got, like, things to do. Like, this is how we control our mental... Our <laughs> he mental just calm you so down. He you, tell you how to do you it. You at a 10, he's still at a 1. You know what? We're going to take you to some water exercises. I think the in. most that I've heard about, like, people in different branches is, like, the whole, like, training. How they put that on their kids. Like, how they make sure the bed's made and everything. Like, I feel like that's, like, mind-blowing when they come home. And then now their kids are taught to, in a sense, live like that. And it's like, it's cool, but then it's just like... No, they say you never break habit. Like, my one of my friends that's in the Navy, the one I told you has been in there a long time, when he used to come home from boot camp, like, he would literally, his bed and everything still be folded. Like, his yeah, clothes. Yeah, like, that's crazy. He's like, it's just mentally embedded in him. He can't, like, mm -hmm. not... He said he tuck his sheets, like, still, everything. Like, he never broke it. Like, he said you never break it. You just... And that's a good thing when you marry them because that means they're clean, they're neat. That's amazing. Yeah. You say like I ain't clean and neat. I ain't even go to service and I'm clean and neat. You better get on. But <laughs> I'm a neat freak. Like anyway, hey, you couldn't leave a pair of socks around. That's me. crazy. Do you guys? Um, do we have any veterans? You know, or anybody are you in you, the cybers? Are you in the navy or in different branches? Kudos to you guys. That's wild training, though. It's mental. But that's, that's crazy. That's hard. That's I think the water one, like, I don't... I couldn't do water. I don't even know how long I hold my breath. I'm not, I'm not but I'm pretty it. sure there's, like, I training the to be able to it. But I'm like, I'm going to be scared. I think I could go to, like... I think I would have to go, like, to another branch. I can't do water. 
I did. Like I, I didn't swim. I'm not. You're not gonna leave me. Wait. Down there. What, so what about the sailors? They're water too, though. Yeah, they need them. Like, oh, all okay. water. But I'm not about to be underneath there. Like my buddy said, they was on weight vests and stuff in the water. Like I'm not. You know, about to throw me down in a drown. So if you had to choose a branch, what would it be? If I'm going somewhere, yeah. I mean, I would probably go Marines. Marines. No, I wouldn't. Take that back. I am probably going Air Force. Air Force. Because okay. Marines be out there in the streets. So there's the Air Force, Marines, Navy, Army. Am I missing one? No. So there's only four? Navy. Did I say all of them? Yeah, Navy, Navy Army, Marines, Air Force. Mm. And you say you would go I'll where? probably go Air Force. Safest branch. I have a cousin in the Air Force also. I can't. I have a cousin in the Air Force. Um, I actually have cousins in, I believe, is the Marines. The only reason I know because I know people who went to all those branches. And yeah. from what I heard, like Marines is no joke. Army is another no joke. And then our Navy, of course, and Air Force is like your safest branches to go get like education and all that good stuff. Unless you become a SEAL or something or a special unit. So does every branch have a certain like Yeah, like special group? special. Yeah, so like Navy has the SEALs. And I think and Air Force ones. is like special forces or special options. Yeah, like so that. they all have one? Yeah, you get in them teams. You, you, you I go. like this though because it just kind of puts you in what they're doing, like what they're sacrificing, how they're, you know, in a sense, like that's amazing. Mm-hmm. I think it puts them in a perspective like, oh, that's you what you got to have some Jeez. backbone for yeah. that. Yeah. No you. lie. Like, kudos to him, but that's crazy. He said he didn't even feel welcomed until like three to five years. Like, he was a new guy for that long. I'm going to be uh, not welcome for a long time because I ain't. That's crazy. You ain't, you ain't throwing me underneath the water. I just ain't. You're not going. But my thing is, I always wondered is like, okay, the people that are throwing them in the water and doing all this, can they do it the same way now? What do you mean do it the same way? Like, are they? Can they still do it? Like, yeah, they train. They've been in the. No, I know, but they're they're training. Yeah, now. but they've been in there forever. So you gotta think uh, they meant to already. They didn't been on missions and all kinds mm, of stuff. Them dudes. That's is, crazy. Yeah, they've been doing that for a long time. <sighs> But let us know what y'all thought about this video. Drop your comments down below. You learn something new every day, and I feel like I learned today. Yeah, it's like educational. educational It's like learning about the world. Yeah, You know, they have some educational videos sometimes. But you know what's crazy? Not to cut you off, but I feel like growing up in... um, I never really seen other for other branches i've always only seen army like at the booths and stuff at our schools i've only seen army no, i never had other ones we had all of them in ours mm. they was always trying to recruit i was on my way to the uh, marines well, you just say you wouldn't do I it i was almost on my way though like i, I was already signed up but my mom didn't talk me out of it i was on, on my way to go i was about to be bold i can't picture you bold. michael jordan in this joint i don't know if you have a nice head for that my head is round that don't mean nothing. That's what you need for bald, a bald head. Bald does not go for everybody. Just um, some beards don't work for everybody. Bald goes, if you have a round head and no dents, that means you have a good head. Like, I have a good head. I don't have any dents or nothing. So, mine will be, like, perfectly bald. I wouldn't want it. It'd be like a snow globe. I wouldn't <laughs> want it. 